Well, hey there, everybody. Today, I'm going to be installing a automatic uh, beeswax, no power uh, window opener right here in this greenhouse. Uh, a few days ago, I forgot to open up my bottom vent here, and I also didn't open up my uh, screen door here. And it got a little toasty inside, got about 104 degrees. And that was with the outside temperature being about 50. So it got way too hot because my little fans there are working good. My solar fans are up on top working really good, but they just didn't have any cool air to pull in in order to push out the hot air. So all it was doing was sort of making a vacuum inside the greenhouse. Well, not really a vacuum, but sort of, because the greenhouse is pretty sealed off. So it doesn't have a lot of room to pull out hot air or pull in hot, cool air, excuse me. So I'm gonna be putting in the automatic beeswax uh, window opener here. I already have them on a couple of my other greenhouses. So let's get to it. So let's go into the greenhouse right now with the uh, windows closed, the vents not open. And it is 92 degrees inside this greenhouse right now. I don't know if you can see that or not. There we go. 92 degrees in here. And the little fans up here are just kicking it. They're both running really good. They're pulling the air. I have some other fans hooked in that are blowing air around in here, but it is hot because there is no air to pull in. So what the uh, greenhouse automatic uh, door opener, window opener is gonna do is it's gonna be right up there. And it's gonna allow some of that hot air that goes up to the top, uh, up to the roof to be able to be pushed out if you take a look at this greenhouse here, the uh, window opener is already opened up for the day. All right, so in order to complete this build, you're gonna need, of course, the opener. You're gonna need some expandable foam weather seal. You're gonna need a hinge. I like using a piano hinge here. And a solid piece of wood. Uh, I'm going to put a link in the description below for this one in case you want to get one off Amazon, make it easy to find. Uh, old dog is optional here. Uh, for this one, I actually took the beeswax cylinder, put it into the freezer. You can put it in the freezer, refrigerator. You got to do that before you build it because right now it's, you know, it's a nice day out. It's not too warm, but this is already pushed up uh, to where it'd make it really difficult to put this in. Uh, when it cools down, this rod will go back into the cylinder because the beeswax is going to contract. The springs are going to push on it really hard to get it to shut. Right now, uh, the uh, window would be about that far open and then all the way out should bring your window open around this much if not more, uh, depending on how you have this set up. So I'm going to start by removing a couple of my uh, pieces of wood here. Go ahead and pull those out. This is why I use screws on everything. Now that I have the frame in, I'm going to go ahead and put the vent opening on. So I'm going to go around the other side and start doing that. Dog still laying there. So I gave it this a quick rattle can, give it a little bit extra um, preservative on there. Go ahead and find the cut here line on this. So this is expanding up to a quarter inch. Uh, when it's all compressed, it's compressed down to one eighth. So let's go ahead and put some of this on. All right, for this piano hinge, you wanna have this thing just high enough that it will clear the foam, that way the foam will be what's pushed down in here. If it's uh, too far down, then you're gonna have a gap in your uh, window 
that's going to let all the cold air in. So let's see how we're doing here. That looks like it'll work. Give me just enough to where it pushes down on it when it's closed. It should be just right. Now, if for some reason you don't put it in right, you can always add weight to the back side of your uh, vent. All right, looks like we're all set here. As you can see, this will push down and then give you a little bit better view over here. So all the foam will push down, put a decent seal around your greenhouse so you're not getting the cold air in when it is cold. Go ahead and mount this. So for this, I'm gonna try to even it out the best I can. I'm just gonna eyeball this thing. And make sure that my gasket is touching all the way around. All right. So that's a little bit loose. I might have to adjust this a little bit later. Let's see what the spring action does to, the, to it with the uh, closer. Okay, so my clearance wasn't quite right on this. Didn't quite have enough room, so of course I had to break out a chisel. Chisel out a little area in here to give myself enough swing. I uh, took off the springs in order to know that it'll open nice and smooth. And of course what happens is outside, clouds start rolling in. Starts raining a little bit. So I'm going to go grab my rod after I put these springs back on. Oops, should have done the other side first. And now nice and nice and tight. So when you're putting this thing on and you're wanting to get your adjustment, uh, pull it all the way back and then tighten up your screws down here. Make sure they're nice and tight on there. You don't want them slipping afterwards. But if it's back tight against the wall, then you know you're going to have a good seal. And once again, the rod's going to be sticking up through here and pushing the vent open. All right, so I got it hooked up. Uh, opens the shut, shut, springs uh, loaded, spring loaded is pulling back really tight on it. Have the piece in here. I don't have it tightened up too much here because I don't know exactly how much I'm going to need. But I have to test this out. It's not going to get hot enough for this thing to operate right now. Uh, Washington State just started raining on us a few minutes ago. Clouds rolled in. It's like, really? Okay. But I got another way to test this out to see how it works. Heat gun. So isn't that cool? Uh, it takes about 70 degrees uh, before this thing starts expanding. The beeswax in here expands a little bit. Um, 80 degrees it goes a little bit faster and it just opens right up now it is a uh, was a good day it turned into be a cloudy rainy day it's raining on me right now or raining outside uh, so this thing should cool off pretty good and it's gonna close again should close nice and tight and it'll be all set for those emergencies when I forget to open up the lower vents to let the uh, some cool air actually into the greenhouse. All right, 
So I took my heat gun, went ahead and heated it up again. I wanted to make sure it flowed nice and smooth. This is the sixth uh, greenhouse opener I've put into a greenhouse. I've ruined two of them uh, because I did not make sure that they were nice and smooth. Uh, pop the beeswax piston that's in there and put beeswax all over the place, really nasty. Um, but every one of these is different. Every one of the greenhouses is different, the way that you put them in the greenhouse. So make sure that it smoothly opens and shuts before you put the cylinder in. That is the biggest piece of advice I can offer you. Um, other than that, these are awesome. Uh, if I forget to open up my lower vents or open up the uh, door window, I don't have to worry about my starts dying if it gets too hot. Um, I have a lot of starts in here that I'm taking to the farmer's market and it is just too much of a gamble to say, oh, did I remember to open up the lower vents in the morning so my upper fans can suck out the hot air and bring in some cool air. This will allow cool air to come in. Even though it's high up here, it'll still allow the uh, cool air to come in. The heat's still going to rise from the rest of my greenhouse and mix in with the cooler air and go out. So these things are awesome. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. Push that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Happy gardening and have a great day.